you're thinking about moving to Costa Rica and you are in search for a rental house in Costa Rica, consider to watch the whole video because I moved to Costa Rica a couple of years ago and I learned by mistake on what not to do in finding a rental and what things that I would do now in order to prevent mistakes. Of course, it will be always a personal journey and everyone is different. Uh, by the way, who am I? Uh, my name is Muriel and I come from the Netherlands. Uh, that is my accent. I'm a life and business coach. I work online fully since 2015 full time. Before that, I was a social worker. But basically, if people ask me, so what is it that you do in Costa Rica? Well, I guide and coach people from all around the world to build their own independent online business in order to live job free uh, in Costa Rica and I also show um, small business owners how to attract more clients to the front door of their business by building more exposure online. That is basically what I do. Oh, I also have four dogs. This is Jimmy, he came to give me a kiss. He's always nearby, one of my four dogs. But um, yeah, I also want to state I'm not the expert. I definitely do not know everything. <laughs> I'm still learning uh, by mistake, but also a lot of good things happen. I love Costa Rica. Um, I believe it was the best choice I ever made. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider to do so by hitting that little icon on the screen, tap the bell to get notified every time I upload new Costa Rica related videos in order to, um, to share all I've learned so you can benefit from it. So what went wrong with my first rental? By the way, I also have a playlist of, of several other videos. I think I made like seven or eight other videos about rentals in Costa Rica. I will keep watching. I will place a pop-up that you can click. So all those videos will be able to, um, you can, can watch them easily. Um, so I will post that in a little bit, so keep watching, okay? And that will give you a broader point of view, more details, but I'm gonna share what I see happening right now. There's a lot of uh, relocation experts these days, making a great living by doing great research for all these um, moving to Costa Rica people who are searching for guaranteed good housing and all the foundations that you need. Yeah, I was in that position once. But um, how did I find my rental by myself? Was it a great start? Absolutely not. My first rental seemed very great, but it happened to be a big drama. Did I learn from it? Yes. And what happened next? In two months, within two months, I found myself a great, great house where I lived for eight months. Uh, how did I got that house? By just exploring at the location. So here's my point. Um, if you think that you're better off with uh, signing a contract for a specific amount of months before you're moving to Costa Rica, I hope for you it all happens the way that you want. Uh, of course, that is the intention of a relocation expert. That is the intention of the person, the expertise that you're paying and using. I want it for you. but it's not always guaranteed the right house. Why? There is things beyond the control, out of the control of the person arranging a house for you. The house can be great, the price can be great, now you're signing a contract because it's like, you know, safety net for both. And now there's terrible neighbors uh, who, who, who don't allow your kids to sleep every night because they're partying. Can the landlord that you're renting from or the relocation expert that you're renting from do something against it? Often not. Now you're stuck in the house that is awesome and beautiful, but you have terrible neighbors. What can happen as well? It could be in a quiet neighborhood or, you know, they market the house as a great house next to the public road. So easy access to the town and to the beach and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and, the, and the road is a normal road. Now what can happen, and this is really happening everywhere in Costa Rica, they're building on the big property right next to your house or a couple of streets away from your house. And now that quiet street is like a highway of heavy trucks, a lot of motorbikes, because over all the workers, the guys, overall guys who are building the houses are traveling by motorbikes. Those vehicles both are super noisy. The trucks, uh, the bajos working on the land, when they go in reverse, you hear, you hear beep, 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 beep. That's a reverse sound all day long. Motorbikes in the morning, in the afternoon, 
and next day again noisy I've had that happen here in my property I couldn't hear myself in the video because they were constructing around me it drove me crazy um, so this is out of the control of your guaranteed house that you sign up for before moving to Costa Rica you think this is the best thing to do so again I hope it will unfold well and those people often have great intentions but don't count on it as always ideal what can you do because that's of course why I'm here what would I do n the next time if I would do it over again I would definitely just rent through Airbnb a kind of short term but like I would definitely come in rainy season in the low season where a lot of houses are empty where a lot of Airbnb owners are tending or um, yeah are offering like discounts on longer term rentals like I do that I have a little casita PS on my own property check it out by the link click tapping the link around this video it's a one bedroom apartment fit for a single traveler or a single expat new wannabe or single person or a couple because it's the house of my mom-in-law she's just here four months per year all the other months um, it's empty or I put it on Airbnb for fun like I told you I'm, I'm a professional life and business coach I make my living online but it's better for the house when it's equipped uh, when there's someone in there living in it loving it taking care of it so I choose to put it on um, up here out there to tell the world hey you can rent it long term for a couple of months per year except for those four months December January February March first week of April maybe but all the other months you can rent it and yes I make a bargain price if you stay a couple of months um, you can do that by Airbnb or PME but this is what a lot of people do with rentals they give a better price for the longer you stay and I love Airbnb to use because it's also a safety net it works like a contract um, for both uh, parties right so come in the rainy season is my advice and rent on Airbnb like for example my casita could be consideration for two months or three months or a month or whatever what is best for you and then go around in the area so my area is Montezuma, Santa Teresa, Kabuya, the Nicoya Peninsula and go check out for yourself where houses are for rent where properties are for sale but you are operating from a safe place um, that is that is what we done after our first terrible house that we rented word of mouth by a friend so once he was overcharging us we heard that when we were talking with the neighbors because after moving in with the kids I'm you know saying hi to my neighbors and I found out that she told me you're paying the original price I'm gonna have a baby in Germany uh, if you can feed my cat and I can keep my stuff there you can rent it for the normal price so we were paying 950 bucks for an old crappy house while my neighbor was paying 600 bucks and thanks to me chatting with the neighbors I found out that I was being ripped off and a lot of other things were absolutely not okay for a family it was not a, a safe place it was it was just a bad place so I could get away get away uh, because I just uh, never paid a con never signed a contract because it was word of mouth it was kind of my safety net and I didn't pay a month up front because well, I was smart this is also a tip if someone is asking you that you first want to be confirmed that everything is there before you pay extra because then if not everything is there you already paid a month extra as a guarantee for the for the landlord uh, and something is broke that you didn't break they could just say but well, you broke it I'm gonna keep some of that month extra to repair it because you broke it and that is ha that happened with us because we left uh, within two, two months I promised her we're gonna live in there for a year she would have a baby blah 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 but we left we just said you know all the things that you're not doing and she became a witch literally like she was very kind when we were talking about renting and then the the, the, the roof was leaking she sent someone she blamed me for not being home when he came but I was there for two days in a row and no one came and then she became like angryish and I was like this is not the person I rented from so the real character really came out I learned like oh, I should have never trusted her but it brought me in the town it brought me in Santa Teresa it brought me in the community groups it brought me on places where I could find another home so I went to the local Facebook group this is a tip for you go scroll and place 
uh, messages in the local Facebook groups of that area. And I said, hi, I did a film family picture. This is Muriel and my family, two kids. We are looking for a rental house. Uh, we are not partying. My kids go to school. I just work. I work online. Um, who has something to offer, preferably a three bedroom apartment. And then I was approached by a guy who said, I just came from Belgium. I just finished building a house and uh, I would love to have you. I, I want a family. And I, we went visiting the house and the deal was done. And it was not super expensive. Normally people told me for a three bedroom apartment, a minimum of 2000 a month uh, with all the stuff that you want. And I said, a minimum, wow, what do you pay like with the bills and stuff? Well, pff, count on 3000 and then you're good. And we're like, pff, you know, and this we paid 1500 bucks, including the bills. We had a pool. We were walking distance from the, uh, from the ocean. It was a very nice guy. I can tell you thousands of stories about what it brought us, but the house, we found it ourselves. And I checked out the neighborhood. I, I went to have a conversation with the landlord. It clicked. Um, I looked around, are there neighbors? What's the situation? And it was a good deal. And uh, from then, from there, we, we lived there for eight months, very happily. And from there, we moved, oh, we moved to our own property. We bought our own property, which we could discover by renting in a safe place with someone who lived there already for 10 years. And we could ask him sometimes a couple of things and, you know, getting around uh, as a newbie, um, a Costa Rica expat is, you know, is, is helpful. Um, so yeah, I hope that you learn from my story. So yeah, um, yeah, definitely. I would just rent from Airbnb, um, short term, go in low season. There's a lot empty. Um, and I, I would like a, a many other um, landlords would give you a, a great price for a long term rent renter. But uh, yeah, anyway, go check out that playlist because I was thinking, shall I explain this? No, it's in that video. Shall I explain this? No, it's that video. So go check out the playlist. It's around minute 12. Um, watch my other videos, learn about pros and cons of renting versus buying, um, what to more pay attention to when you're renting. Um, there's so much to pay attention to, so much that can go wrong. Also with a relocation coach, that's beyond their control. Uh, at the end of the day, what always helps is having a positive mindset and trust on your gut and trust on the universe that if you approach everything with a glass half full instead of half empty, the good things will be attracted to you. Uh, so don't be an attractor of negative stuff. Costa Rica will spit you out. Sometimes things don't grow as smooth as you're used to where you come from. But see the fun of it, right? Sometimes I don't have Wi-Fi, water, electricity, or there's cows on the road and I, I cannot meet my appointment, whatever. Like it's like, it's part of life. Now housing is quite important when you wanna be moving to Costa Rica soon, but don't feel forced to sign contracts uh, from six months to a year. Um, trust also the universe that there's a house for you um, and, and do with my advice what you like I'm not the expert I'm not don't have the answers these are my experiences and you can make your own experiences uh, if you are curious about my rental again tap the link around my video you will see it on Airbnb you can also private message me below my video you find me on Facebook and if you see this on YouTube comment below my video uh, and if you want to know what it is that I teach uh, and if it's a good fit for you to start an own online business and be an online entrepreneur and setting up many income streams uh, and create freedom of location <laughs> and work from anywhere boss free, then also check out the description down below or the link uh, here on the screen. And uh, well, that means looking forward to meet you one day in Costa Rica and uh, Pura Vida. Big hugs.